This is Eamon Khan here for Boxing Social in association with Betfred with the, with the reigning and defending WBC silver featherweight champion Nick Ball. Nick, talk me through your performance. Yeah, it was good, mate. Um, I enjoyed it, you know, I enjoyed doing the 12 rounds and I always enjoy fighting, so um, I hope it was an exciting fight for everyone watching, yeah. It was very much an exciting fight. Nick, first of all, just seeing you in the ring and seeing you here now, you have a steely confidence about you. Where does that come from? Uh, my training and my, uh, my mindset and my self-belief. You've got to believe in yourself, uh, rule number one. If you, if you don't believe in yourself, you're finished and you hard work to go with that. Um, hard work every day, knowing you do everything right and that's just that's what carries your confidence, definitely. You were throwing bombs in there from the outset and that power that you have carried through to the 12th round and you eventually got that stoppage. Talk to me through about the success that you're having from round one all the way to, through to round 12. To be honest, I felt like me being a smaller man, I felt like me, I was out jabbing him. I felt like my jab was working and I'm happy with that. That's, that's enough for me. And then in round 12, I got to stop it. So I can't ask for much more, can I? You're a scary proposition in terms of being able to, you've overcome that height difference, you've got that power, that power carries through, carries through too. People online are comparing you, they're saying you're the Scouts tank too. Uh, that's got, that, must, that must have a ring to it too as well. Yeah, it sounds all right, isn't it? But I'm Nick Ball, me mate, um, that sounds better. Indeed too. Um, what did Frank Warren say to you after the fight? I'm sure you had a couple of words with him. Yeah, he was, uh, he was made up with my performance, said uh, it was a solid performance, he's proud of me and um, I thanked him for getting me out so soon and he said uh, there's more to come. Kakololo, a word on him because lesser fighters would have fallen to the bombs that you were throwing and delivered to his chin, so a word on him, it was teak tough tonight. Yeah, he was, he was, he was tough but uh, as I said he was more uh, awkward than tough but he was tough because I landed some clean shots and he took them, didn't he? So. He must be tough. WBC silver title there, Vargas is the champion. You must be ready for that big fight next too. Yeah, definitely. Get me in the ring with him, mate. And uh, one fight I want to throw out uh, there to you because of your style. It would be an excellent fight. Mauricio Lara. What do you think about that fight? Who's that, mate? Don't know him. Mauricio Lara, he beat Josh Warrington. Oh, the Mexican guy? Yeah, yeah it'd be a good fight, that. Yeah. He's a fucking heavy hitter, isn't he? So it'd be decent. It'd be exciting, that one. 100% would, would be great to see in that. Nick? When, when are we going to get to see you out next and the message for your fans to, to sign off? Uh, hopefully October and yeah, massive thanks to um, everyone who bought tickets and everyone who's supporting me back home. Can't thank them enough and all my sponsors. Congratulations on the win, Nick. Thank you so much for speaking to Box Social.